First of all, I do apologize if there is some wind in the background and that in part of the video, you can't really quite hear my voice because of the wind. But second of all, we got some breaking news in MLS and that this have just announced a couple of minutes ago that Atlanta United have traded Julian Gresso to DC United in exchange for 650,000 target allocation money in 2020 and 100,000 target allocation money in 2021. And there could be a another 350,000 TAM that Atlanta might be received depending on performance wise. But yeah, this has just happened and I am absolutely stunned by this. And I'm pretty sure Atlanta fans are probably as stunned as I am in terms of this move. And that I've also have heard a lot of Atlanta fans are not happy about this move. And I don't blame them because Julian Gressel was one of the fan favorite for Atlanta United. And now all of a sudden he has been traded to DC. And that I will also say this, you know, we have heard about how Julian Gresso has not been happy with the way that, you know, Atlanta hasn't really gave him a contract. And there, there seems to be like a contract kind of holdout between Julian Gresso and Atlanta. But I was assuming eventually Atlanta is going to kind of resolve this issue and that they're going to pay Julian Gresso uh, the amount of money that he's been asking for. But it seemed like that is not going to be the case because they decided to get rid of him now and that. You know, for DC, this is definitely an amazing move, and this is just another piece that can improve on their attack. But for Atlanta, that is a huge loss on the attacking end. I mean, you're talking about a guy that was one of the most productive player on the attacking end, and that you know we already know Atlanta have lost a couple of key pieces. They already lost Darlington Nagby this season, which I thought it was relatively big in terms of midfield, but. This is even bigger with the way that Julian Gresso has just been the the productive player on the attack and also in the defensive end too. So yeah, I don't know what Atlanta is kind of thinking about this move. I'm guessing they probably have already had some replacement to line up for. And I guess the other reason why they had to get rid of him is that they are kind of in a little bit of a cap hell situation where you know they have a lot of these players that is on TAM contract that you know, they're 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 pretty close in terms of reaching the cap and that they if they want to like pay all these players in terms of these contracts, you know, they're going to have to try to do it before they actually reach to the cap. And I guessing maybe they just did not have enough money in the cap to pay Julian Gresso and pay what he wants. And that, that also can have a lot to do with the whole situation with the salary cap in MLS. But my argument to that is why do they wait till here to do it when they could have maybe wait until the CBA negotiation is going to be done because this CBA negotiation you know we talk about how it's going to potentially be done and that it's going to be something that could potentially change the DP rule well it can also potentially change the DP or the TAM rule and also in terms of the whole salary cap situation so why didn't Atlanta decide to wait until the CBA negotiation is done why did they decide to do it now um, instead of after when it's done? So, yeah, I'm absolutely stunned about this. But let me know in the comments below what do you think of this deal. And again, you know, for Atlanta, this is I just don't like the fact that they decided to just get rid of one of their most productive player on the attack and defensive end. And they didn't, you know, seven hundred thousand dollar Tam money that they got for Julian Gresso is definitely not bad but when you look at the productivity that he's been doing for the last couple of seasons you would think he would at least worth a million dollar in terms of the money that Atlanta is going to receive for Tam and you know the fact that they only got like seven hundred thousand dollars something has to be there of why they it feels like they just had to get rid of him so that they can free up some allocation money and they can just kind of free up space but it just feel like you know yes I understand they want to free up space but do they really have to do it by letting go one of their most attack their one of their most innovative attacking piece on their team you know I don't know but for DC obviously this is a great move for them and this is just another attacking piece that they can add on I mean they have already done so much good thing on the attacking side so you know this is just another one of those deals that they have done in the offseason but let me know in the comments below what do you think of it and yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys next time